What's good, crime family? Hope you're having a good day today. If not, I hope the video bring a little light to your day. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to check out a sneak peek at the tech inside of the MSG Spear. Now, I'm saying the Spear, but we're going to see what's inside of this thing, man. It's huge. It almost looks unreal at night, but let's get into it. I'm here at Big Dome Studios in Burbank where they test out all the new technology for that $2.3 billion sphere in Las Vegas. Unfortunately, they won't let me That's film inside, man. but I'm going to do my best to explain to you all the different demos we're going to get today. Let's check it out. You've probably seen clips or videos of the massive sphere going around on social media. We talked to MSG Facts. Ventures CEO David Dibble to get the lowdown on the technology powering this first of its kind venue. We like to think that we're creating experiences that is VR like, but you don't need the goggles. This monumental effort has required the development of brand new technologies, including audio, video, and camera systems, several of which I got to experience during my visit to Big Dome. I'll leave timestamps down below if you'd like to skip around. Now let's get started with our first demo. How the heck do you create immersive audio inside a sphere? It's a curved structure exactly. and 3 million cubic feet in volume. Curved performance holes are phenomenal for viewing. It's a nightmare for audio. They partnered with Holoplot, a Berlin-based tech company, breaking new ground in wave field synthesis and beamforming audio for use inside the echoey setting of subways. Basically, this technology allows sound to be projected more precisely through space to the point that people sitting in different sections can hear different languages, different instruments, or different oh, audio wow. elements. For example, That's in one of so the demos dope. I heard, they applied this to languages. Depending on where I stood, I could hear the audio in English, Chinese, or Arabic. I also heard it applied to music, with different areas in space highlighting different instruments. Bro, technology is coming so far now. And the fact that they can have like different roles for like specific people who like speak specific languages is so dope to me, man. I, I love the type of stuff. I love seeing technology evolve to, you know, create a better experience for the people. I also man. heard a demo that made it sound as if an actor was walking towards me and speaking right into my ear. We have about 164,000 individual drivers. Uh, on that system, Sheesh. and they are all uh, individually addressable. Each panel has a built-in microphone, so they listen to themselves and tune in real time. This demo was only a small fraction of what will be experienced inside the full-size sphere, but it didn't stop there. Inside a mixing room where artists can prepare their audio for playback on the sphere's system, I got to feel a gust of wind from something like an air cannon, which showed how the sphere system plans to create a sense of touch to go along with their audio system. There were also That's hints insane. that things like humidity, temperature, and even smells could potentially be utilized for artistic effect as well. The next demo what? was of a one quarter scale screen. While sitting down, we got a taste of the challenging acoustics engineers were battling inside the sphere as our voices bounced off the curved screen. I was told that inside the Las Vegas sphere, the LEDs that make up the full size screen are farther apart than the ones in the quarter scale model, so sound travels through them rather than bouncing back at the audience. On that one quarter scale screen, we were treated to a diverse array of test clips filmed specifically to explore the possibilities of a screen of Holy that size moly. and shape. I'll be using clips from Getty to give a sense of what I saw, but just to be clear, these are not the actual clips. The first clip was a camera traveling slowly through a forest. Then I saw tests of various camera moves, an underwater scene, and perhaps most. Bro, like I really want to go and see this in, in in real time. I'm not sure when it's going to be officially done, but this looks like it's going to be amazing, especially like experiencing that in, on the inside. Like imagine like screens everywhere and you're know, watching something like that's memorably, insane. A roller coaster that felt uncannily real. One thing that struck me about the viewing experience is how immersive it was. I could tilt my head all the way up and still not see the edge of the screen. The learnings in VR, the virtual reality world, apply directly to what we're trying to do here. Because we like to think that we're creating experiences that is VR-like, but you don't need the goggle. Some of these images that I saw were That's captured cool. by multiple really cameras cool. put together in an array and then stitched together after the fact in post-production while other videos were captured with a brand new camera developed by the MSG Sphere team specifically wow. for the Sphere's unique aspect ratio, which is far larger than IMAX. The camera, called Big Sky, has a whopping 16K resolution. Matter of fact, the Big Sky system is going up into the International Space Station next year, uh, and it's going on uh, an EVA, 
extravehicular activity, a spacewalk, to uh, photograph the heavens and back on our own blue planet. Altogether, the countless That's engineering cool. challenges resulted in the budget ballooning from a predicted $1.2 billion in 2018 to $2.3 billion. We didn't know what this medium was going to present to us. It was testing. Test, learn, test, learn, test, learn. The Sphere is opening this September with a performance by U2, followed shortly after by a special film presentation from Darren Aronofsky called Postcard from Earth. Tickets on the Sphere website are shown to cost between $49 and $100. That's not bad for the pricing. That's not bad for the pricing and the experience you would get for being inside the Sphere, experiencing like the, like just the whole thing, man. Like, and also, like, I feel like they, even though they spent $2.3 billion, I feel like they're going to make that back easy, especially with, like, ads. Like, imagine, they probably could charge, like, a million per ad. Like, any company that want to get in on having their ad on there, a million dollars, like, easily. Probably more than that. $199. What do you think of this fear? I think it's really cool. I think it's really cool, man. And I think it's just showing how far we've come in with technology man there's so much new stuff coming out now and I, I i i love technology man i love seeing technology like expand and being able to help people and you know make things a lot easier but um yeah man i hope y'all enjoyed my reaction video man stay tuned for more let me know in the comments what else y'all want to see me react to until next time deuces original video link will be in the description also